Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you my TBR for the Scali Wagaton um, readathon that is happening next week from the 5th of May until the 12th of May. This will be my very first readathon that I will be actively participating in and I am very excited because it, this is a readathon that you can like choose your own books and there's lot of, lots of options and um, there's like a really beautiful map and this year's theme is like still the treasure hunt but there's a space theme included in it. Yeah I'm very excited to participate. I'll try to vlog uh, my whole week of reading and I hope I will be able to complete the readathon. If I don't then I uh, will at least have read a book or participated in the readathon because that's what I'm most excited about, participating in my first ever readathon. For the first part of the map you have to choose between number one until five and each number stands for um, a prompt and for that prompt you can choose a book. I have different options. For example, I could do number one because number one stands for looting and that is a book that has gold on the spine. And I am currently reading Matilda by Roald Dahl and this has a gold spine so it's adequate for the readathon. But the thing is I am almost done with this book so it could be that I finish it, that I'll finish it before the readathon. So then my options change if I finish that book. Then I will go for number four and it is a low tide read a book with less than 200 pages because if I want to read four books in a week then I'm gonna have to pick smaller books in between to make sure I can actually, actually do the four books. And I also have different options for this. Um, the first option is Down the Rabbit Hole by Juan Pablo Villalobos. I have no idea what this is about. I recently hauled this and um, it's a very small book. It has 70 pages so it should be a really quick read and it's under 200 pages. But I also have the option of reading The BFG by Roald Dahl because I am in that mood right now of reading Roald Dahl books. And this is also under 200 pages, so maybe that will be a nice follow-up for Matilda. And then I also could read The Great Gatsby because I will probably need an audiobook for that week. So that this will be a great audiobook. I like listening to classics on audio, so this would be perfect too. I, As I said, I will try to vlog my week, so... You'll find out in my vlog which books I read. So after I complete that challenge, I will go on to number seven. Both number one and number four go have like um, a way to number seven. And that is Blow Down the Man. So that means I have to re read a book by a female author. And for that prompt, I also have two options. First off, I have Outside by Sarah Ann Jukes. I have been reading this book for a while now, so maybe this um, readathon will make me like actually finish this book. So that's my first option. And then my second option is Beneath the Sugar Sky by Sean McGuire. Uh, she is also a female author and um, I am really into the Every Heart of Doorway series right now. I am loving this series and this is the third book in the series. So yeah, I'm, I'm still not sure which one of the two I want to read. So if I complete number seven, then I'm going to go to one of the detours, which are A, B or C. And I am choosing C. That is a feared, so that means I have to read a book that I am afraid to read. And I also have two options for this prompt. First off is The Chalkman by um, C.G. Tudor. I heard this is kind of a thriller. It's kind of a scary story. I don't know, I, am, I don't do good with scary stories, so I'm kind of afraid to read this for that reason. But I am also really, really excited to read it at the same time. And then my second option is a really big book, actually. Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I am mostly afraid uh, to read this book for two reasons. This is a very different format uh, than any other book. It's like 
emails and like messages, logs, this is not really written in the conventional book way and that's one of the reasons I'm afraid to read it because I'm afraid that this that format will not make me like this book. I am also afraid to read this because I don't really read sci-fi. I haven't tried it, really tried it before. I want to like sci-fi because those stories are so interesting, but I haven't really tried liking them before. So that's a, a reason that I am afraid to read this book. So if I complete that challenge, then I will go on to number 10. That's the last uh, stop before I get to the like pirate's planet or whatever it is. And that is assessing the booty. And um, that stands for a book that I've recently hauled. And I'd recently hauled a, f a fair amount of books, but I chose to uh, pick the book that I most recently hauled. And for that, I obviously only have one option, and that is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. I don't have a lot to tell about this book. I know this is a contemporary something about a girl having friends online but not offline and then she meets someone. That's it. That's all I know about it. But I am really excited to read this. So I think this will be a perfect ending of the week if I can read this and can complete my challenge. I am very excited for this challenge. Thank you for the hosts to make this challenge, to come up with all of this. This was my TBR. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your TBR is for the Scallywagaton. Follow me on Twitter. Um, I will follow the Scallywagaton page on Twitter too. So maybe we can connect there. Thank you for watching. Bye.